I don't want to have to be making this video. I'm very shiny also. Um, very scatterbrained. Also, I have clothes on. I know it doesn't look like I do, but I do. So, um, I feel horrible. I feel like crap because every single day I tell myself, Chanel, you're going to edit, you're going to upload, and you're going to upload consistently. And then every day I don't do it. Um, and I feel horrible that I made a video saying, oh, I'm back. And then it's a month later and I haven't put anything on my YouTube. Um, a couple of you have messaged me and I let you guys know that I have not been and was not in a good space in my life because I have a lot of things going on, a lot of stress, new and added stress that I wasn't dealing with before when I initially um, kind of restarted my YouTube. And I don't think that's an excuse but at the same time, it's reality. Um, what you guys see, I just feel like such a cop out, oh my God. What you guys see in my YouTube videos is not my entire life, obviously. Um, and my crazy, crazy work schedule makes me so tired by the end of the day, but by the time I get there, editing, like I'll do like 15 minutes and I just like wanna be done. Um, and so that's kind of where I am. And I am very sorry to everyone that's been waiting for videos, that's been messaging me, sorry, messaging me, that's been leaving comments, that's been asking me questions that I haven't responded to. I see them, um, I just feel really bad. And again, I apologize. Um, it's not to, I don't, I don't wanna say something and then be like, oh, this makes up for it, or this is some reason that you guys should not be okay with it because I don't think that that's valid. I mean, I've been, Work. I worked so hard to get to where I am on YouTube, even though I'm not like, you know, this big YouTuber. Um, it's way more of a following than I thought I would have. Um, I don't want to just lose that because of my crazy, hectic life. I mean, when I say hectic, I literally didn't mean hectic. Like, I work every single day, except for Sunday. And then on Fridays, I work a double. Sometimes Saturdays, I work a double. I'm working, you know, 6 to 10 to 12 hour days, depending on what I'm doing. I have an enormous amount of stress from both my jobs, which they don't mean to put on me, but it does. I just started trying to do stuff for myself, trying to get my money straight. I have an, not an investment, it's a 401k, which at 18 is not normal. I try to carve time out for myself. Like I got laser done, I'm starting my laser treatments, laser hair removal, not laser to remove any tattoo or anything like that. Um, I got my tragus pierced. I've been saving up so I can go to Thailand for my 19th birthday if the airports are open. We'll see. I'm not going to put myself in a dangerous, dangerous situation, but if I can, I will. Um, I've been saving up money for other different things that I don't really want to talk about yet because I don't know if they're going to happen, so I don't want to say them and then be disappointed if they don't happen. Also, very sorry that I just realized how, talk, how fast I've been talking. I talk normal. I don't talk normal, actually. I talk really, really fast. And when I'm trying to say a lot of information, I talk 10 times faster than I already talk, which is probably very hard to understand. So I apologize for that. Um, yeah, I, you guys know I was doing the activism and I still am, but definitely way less because I've just been so drained. Um, I was doing a lot of activism through social media, mainly my Instagram um, and my TikTok. Sounds weird, but um. Some of that put stress on me. I mean, I was getting mostly positive feedback and I was actually getting into some good discussions with people that had different views than me, but some people were really nasty. Um, and I don't normally let things affect me and most things don't. Um, I'm People are rude to me day in, day out, um, whether I be through social media or otherwise. I deal with, you know, older customers at one of my jobs and people who are racist and rude and all the time and it's fine. Um, but certain things do hit me sometimes and I had an incident that it, it was not like it made me sad it just like made me feel like like disgusted honestly like by that person and the things they were saying the fact that there's someone out there that actually excuse my French was ballsy enough to say that I mean it just it put me in a really bad space I'm going through some family things I found out some really big news I'm dealing with some stuff that I can't even talk about on YouTube because of very clear reasons have been laid out to me. Um, even like my second job, like I cannot tell you, some people have asked me, I cannot tell you guys what I do for my second job, like just can't say it. Um, it's a government clearance issue thing, like I can't talk about it. So 
just letting you guys know right now, like for all the questions that you guys are going to ask me, I cannot answer them. Um, like I'm not a spy or anything. Like it's not like something, you know, crazy CSI, like James Bond type stuff, but like just, it's a part of my job. Like I can't talk about it. Um, and yeah, I've been getting on a better track mental health wise. I mean, I don't, I was never like depressed or anything like that. I just, have been feeling the best and I'm always tired and fatigued. The only reason why I have enough, enough energy to make this is because I just had some caffeine. Um, but yeah, I think I laid out pretty much what's happening. I mean, I don't want to promise anything. I used to have people promise me things all the time and they would never actually follow through on promises. And so I don't want to be that person because I hate when people do that to me. Um, I'm not going to promise when videos are going to come out or how frequently they're going to come out. In my head, I have a schedule. I have written down a schedule. Um, I have ideas and and hopes for when I get things done. But when you add life and reality and unexpected messes that come into play, it happens when it happens. Um, yeah, and I do. I still apologize to me. But if you guys really want to know certain things outside of like my job, like I said, like you can ask me through social media. I'm trying to get better. But answer my DMs. There was like two weeks where I just like boycotted all my DMs because I was getting so many every single day and like I could not keep up with them which is like a lot but my social medias um if you look at like my most recent videos or maybe I'll put it in the description almost all my social medias are the same you guys can add me on snapchat you can follow me or you don't even have to follow me on instagram my account's open um tiktok don't really use twitter so if you've ever tried to con contact me through twitter and I didn't answer that's probably why I use twitter 10 times a year um, and yeah, YouTube comments, I will try to get better about responding. I was doing really well and then they kind of piled on top of me and I just, yeah. So that is the update, which I'm sure you guys are really tired of me making update videos because at one point these were like basically my entire channel it was update, update, update. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And I don't want to get back in that pattern, but I also don't just want to leave my YouTube in free fall and have people think that I don't care because I do. It's just life. So, sorry, I probably look very oily um, and it's hot. <laughs> I live in Virginia and it is hot. So yeah, but like I said, um, you guys want to contact me if you wanted to know what's going on. Hopefully this video explained it and I will leave it here. I'm not gonna edit it. I say that in every video basically because the more videos I put in my editing app, the slower editing becomes. So I'm just going to post this and let it be where it is. So that is it.